Today's episode has been brought to you by Shea Peku at patreon.com slash Peku. All right, buddy. You ready to play? Yeah, I guess. Um, what is this that you just sent me? It's a map. Is it? Because it looks more like a game of tic-tac-toe that's gone awry. Well, I'm sorry, I can't draw. I guess you'll just have to use your imagination, Justin. Why don't you just subscribe to Che Peku on Patreon? Because I don't know what that is. Che Peku creates high-quality maps for Dungeons & Dragons or Pathfinder campaigns. Whoa, that's gotta be a pretty penny. Not at all. Plans start at just $1. And they've got over 4,000 hand-drawn fantasy maps and D&D battle maps. Looks like they do weekly Patreon polls to see what they should add. And all of their maps work seamlessly with most popular virtual tabletops. It really is a no-brainer. All right, let's try it again. How about this? Yeah, that's a lot better. Upgrade your map game with Shea Peku. Click the link in the description or go to patreon.com slash Peku to choose your membership level today. That's patreon.com slash C-Z-E-P-E-K-U. Tell a man short sent ya. Man shorts. Follow me. You successfully make it into the next room without incident. In this room, the walls are lined with a series of mirrors. Varying in sizes and shapes, it appears they rotate. Ooh, another mirror puzzle. Maybe we have to complete a reflection or, or shine a light somewhere. Okay, so let's turn the mirror on the bottom right. Did you touch the mirror? Maybe. A bright light flashes, and when it subsides... You find yourselves in the courtyard of a small town. A crowd is gathered around a stage. There seems to be a panic. A man in a suit and top hat speaks with another man. They look worried. I'm gonna walk up there. As you approach the stage, give me perception checks. No, oh, 23. 15. 16. The man approaches the mic and clears his throat before announcing that Punxsutawney Phil has gone missing. No, not Phil. What's a Funksatani? And who's Phil? Punxsutawney Phil, you pinhead. He's only the world's most famous groundhog. Oh. Why? Because Phil's not just any groundhog, Lance. He predicts the weather. Every February 2nd, he emerges from his hole. If he sees his shadow, six more weeks of winter. If not, it's spring. Okay. But how do we know? I mean, hedgehogs can't talk. Groundhogs. It's not Sonic. Although... That would be pretty cool. Hell yeah, it would. The man interrupts your bickering. Excuse me, you three there. I, I couldn't help but notice your weapons. Are you some sort of adventuring mercenaries? Indeed we are. As you may have heard, Punxsutawney Phil has gone missing. And no Phil means no spring. Have you noticed any other strange things happening in town recently? Hmm. You know, now that you mention it, there was this guy, it was a warlock or a wizard maybe, uh, had a large cage in his arms, uh, big enough to hold, like, a maybe a varmint or a rodent of some kind. Gee, that could be a clue. Anything else? Yeah, he was laughing like some kind of crazy person. Uh, he ran off toward that ominous cave at the edge of town. Well, we don't have much to go on, but we'll do our best. Oh, thank you all so much. The man turns his attention back to the crowd and attempts to calm them down. To the cave! As you approach the entrance, you hear a creepy laugh <laughs> echoing throughout the chamber. I want to ready an action to speak to animals. I ready an arrow. I'll watch our flank. Pull out my long sword and lead the way. The cave is lit with torches as far as the eye can see. You walk for a bit and come across three levers. I want to see if I can see if there's like wear on it and see which one has had the most use. It's uh, 12 to investigate. You're pretty certain it's the middle one. I pull it. Wait! A bright light flashes, and when it subsides, you find yourselves in the courtyard of a small town. A crowd is gathered around a stage. There seems to be a panic. A man in a suit and top hat speaks with another man. They look worried. Wait, what? The man approaches the mic and clears his throat before announcing that Punxsutawney Phil has gone missing. Uh, what is happening? Excuse me, you three there. I couldn't help but notice your weapon. I think I know what's going on here. Let me guess. Warlock stole your groundhog? Are you some sort of adventuring mercenaries? We'll go check out the cave. You make your way back to the cave and find the room with the three levers. Okay, so let's think about this. It's definitely not the middle one. I'm gonna pull the one on the left. Dude, what the fuck? A bright light flashes, and when it subsides, you find yourselves in the courtyard of a small town. A crowd is gathered. You could have killed us. Yeah, but now we know which one it is. Forget the mirror. 
I go back to the cave and pull the lever on the right. A door opens, revealing a long hallway. More torches light the way. Okay, let's go. Waylon, don't touch anything. In fact, I'm leading, okay? Let's go. Lance, when you take your first step, you feel the ground beneath you give a little bit. There's a loud clunking sound. <sighs> of course. A bright light flashes, and when it subsides, you find yourselves in the courtyard of- We go back to the cave. I rolled a 19 to find traps. You're confident that you know the proper path to get to the other side of the room safely. Follow me. You successfully make it into the next room without incident. In this room, the walls are lined with a series of mirrors. Varying in sizes and shapes, it appears they rotate. Ooh, I know the mirror puzzle. Maybe we have to complete a reflection or, or shine a light somewhere. Okay, so let's turn the mirror on the bottom right. Did you touch the mirror? Maybe? A bright light flashes, and when it subsides... Okay, we go back to the cave, we pull the right lever, and then we skip over the floor panel traps. And align all the mirrors in a clockwise order, starting with the one closest to the statue of Doug Mare and Bright Mantle. Answer the troll's riddle, downward dog, then crab walk across the footbridge. I cut my hand for the blood sacrifice, and I start reciting the warlock's creed. Pause at the reflection pool and count the number of rose petals. No! We feast with the skeletons, and then pause at the reflection pool. Okay. So now, we just have to beat the three-eyed lizard in a game of daggers. Sarah? 26. Yeah! Yes. The final door opens. You enter a large chamber. There's a bright light and a loud rumble, as a giant groundhog emerges from the shadows. I'm gonna talk to it. What? Remember I readied that action, like, yesterday? Oh, yeah. What do you want to say? We are here to set you free. Foolish humans, I am free. Wanna see a shadow? I'll give you a shadow. Uh-oh. He steps in front of the bright light, causing a massive shadow to cast over all of you. As it does, you disintegrate. <laughs> Six more weeks of dead. Whoa. A bright light flashes. When it subsides, you find yourselves in the courtyard of a small town. Now we're rolling. The cave is lit. Speeding clip two. Action. Who says that to me? Clip four. Sarah does. Punxsutawney Phil, you... <laughs> Stupid line. Every fib... <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> yeah, this is going to be super dramatic. I'm going to spike right here. Clip nine. Gotcha. <laughs> Hell yeah, it would. <laughs> yeah. I'm good. Gotta go fast. 15. Actually a one. I roll the one. I want to ready an action to speak to animals if I see a hedgehog. Groundhog. There was a warlock and had some sort of a large... <laughs> I go back to the cave and I'll pull the... <laughs> I'm going to do the physical ka-chunk. Yeah. I pull out my long sword and lead the way. Can you use a peck bounce on that? <laughs> yeah. Do it with more Pennsylvania Dutch accent. Thank you. <laughs> I don't know what that is. Neither do I. That should be on silent. 23. I want to ready... As you approach the entrance to the cave, you hear... Mm, and I start reciting the Warlock's Creed. <laughs> Doug Marin Brightmantle. That's a good name. That's a good dwarven name. Yeah. Speeding clip 10. Oh, I'm having a Rigsby moment. I'm sorry. <laughs> you find yourselves in the... I almost did it again. You can work theatric. Like a theatrical thing. A bright light flashes. <laughs> a bright light flashes. <laughs> <laughs> That's more like snarf. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, there is something else. Is the rest of the line. We are here to set you free. I don't know why I keep doing this anthem. I don't know what happened right there. He steps in front of a bright... Train. Yeah. Train. We can go through a couple woes. Just keep saying woe. Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> I cut my hand for the blood sacrifice, and I start reciting the Warlock's Creed, Our Father, who art in heaven. I do like six more weeks of dead. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's funny. Yeah. 
Yeah. Yes. I'm the worst actor here, apparently, when I have to act like I'm what celebrating. Do do? <laughs> hoo. This is very Dragon Ball Z. Yeah. <laughs> We're here to set you free. Okay, now, once more in Woodchuck. <laughs> is that close? <laughs> I bet that sounded green. D and D every day. 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 Stat blocks every day. Drop rocks every day. D and D every day. Every day, they call me the DM. I bring the pain from AM to PM. I am the bane. Consider been changing the name of my BBEG to C. To yo, they can't even see him. Two DPKs per DM. Independent PC museum. If you don't follow my Coliseum, I'm murking you all in my mausoleum. This is a murderous game. Imagination be putting to me, turn to the shame. It's the return of the flame, and it's still burning the same. Better be learning my name. It's that Y A H Z I C K. That spells tongue. Low vibration, high strong. Looking at the top of the ladder from the bottom rung, unsung. D and D. Every day, 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 stat blocks. Every day, drop rocks. Every day, D and D. Every day, every day, 